Welcome, get cozy, snuggle up with a bowl of soup or cake, and let me serenade your ears with the story of the time that I upcycled slash made my entire wardrobe for my trip to Florida slash cruise to the Bahamas. I feel like I should have a pet goat when I wear this. Firstly, I cut this lovely gown into three separate pieces for a shirt, skirt, and headband. Then I took this boomerang of my brother's toes, which I found eerily satisfying. Then I flipped over the top of the skirt piece to make a waistband, sewed it down, and threaded elastic through. Hemming the skirt was a bit of a struggle because Latrexa kept trying to help the mom life, am I right? To fix the unflattering flaredness of those sleeves, I threaded some elastic through. Guys, look, they're designer. These Adidas pants are pretty good quality for only being $4. However, I want to be able to wear them sort of high-waisted. They have no drawstring, so I'm going to add a drawstring, and then I'm going to tighten them. For the drawstring, I used this shoelace that came in a pack of like six from the Dollar Tree, so this ended up being like 16 cents. Then I flipped the pants inside out, pinned them, tried them on, repinned them, and repeated until they fit fittingly. Then I rinsed, lathered, and repeated. Just kidding, I sewed them. So I only have like one or two articles of clothing that I'm going to be wearing on the cruise done already. And I leave for the cruise in a couple days and I work one of those days. That means I have two days to get all of this done. Basically, make a whole wardrobe in a day, which is fantastic clickbait. But who, why, what, what whose idea was this? Why do I have to have all this pressure on me? I should fire my agent. Hey, Makara? Hey Makara, how you doing? I'm doing good. You're fired. You can't fire me. I know times are tough and you have a rat to take care of and what with Groundhog Day coming up. Bla I could blackmail you. Okay, never mind. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, I forgot. There was one article of clothing I made two weeks prior because the day of my friend's Christmas party, I decided I really wanted to wear my pink pants and I had nothing to go with them. I really want to work on this today to have it done for a Christmas party I have tonight, <laughs> but I have a taxidermy lesson this morning. And before you panic, I have never killed an animal. I never want to kill an animal. However, after they're already dead, I kind of like the idea of preserving their cuteness for all eternity. I gotta be prepared for when Latrexa here decides to pass on to glory. I'm not going to this lesson by myself. I invited my friend slash co-worker, Kylie, and she couldn't think of a good enough excuse not to go. Kylie, are you excited? So excited. Hope we don't die. It was actually a great time, and unfortunately we didn't die, which meant I had to go home and finish that shirt. I think we'll start with these little babies. Oh my gosh, I need to do my nails. I'm so sorry, guys. I totally understand if you unsubscribe right now. I'll just have to do the rest of the video like this, so I'm gonna do those. I really hope you burned the picture of those pieces into your mind, because I was in such a rush that I didn't really get any good in-depth footage of me making this, so it's not gonna be very instructional. But here's a quick, thorough tutorial on how to turn a loop. Take a safety pin, connect it to one end, turn it into the inside, and then just start feeding it through. Oh. I ironed down the waist strap, connected the front to the back, sewed it all together, made a belled out long sleeve variation of the sleeves I used on my couch dress, and finished just in time for the holidays party. This dress is probably what I'm most excited about. It has parrots on it. What says Bahamas like exotic birds? Don't know, never been there. So I think this needs to be taken in a little bit. I think I'm going to cut off part of the bottom and make it a tie around the waist and probably take the sleeves in just a tad. Then I got the fun silly notion to make initial necklaces for all of us who are going on the cruise. It's so cute because the first initials of each of our names put together spells mace. I thought about getting us all something like a t-shirt that said mace on it, but too risky. Not everybody has the same sense of humor as me, so. Can you guess who the inspiration is for this bathing suit? The little mermaid! Now to start this bathing suit, you're gonna wanna get out your grundies! My mom gave me these underwear for Christmas. They've never been worn. I just want you all to know that. So we are gonna use these as our model, but we're gonna raise the waistline from here to about here. Hey, if there's anything in this video that you want an actually in-depth tutorial on, just let me know. So I was just talking about how I wanted to make a pattern out of the swimsuit bottoms that I have, and then my dad handed me this. It's very large. This building paper, which apparently is a thing, really came in handy because I was able to trace the pattern onto it and make my friend a swimsuit for Christmas because she looks really good in red and I had red spandex and I was just kind of honestly looking for excuses to procrastinate getting my own stuff done. This reminds me of a splayed out animal skin. I'm sorry, after my taxidermy lesson, I just view everything differently. I I'm not sure how I feel about it. Okay, back to the matter at hand. When making a swimsuit, you always want to close up all the edges with elastic. It just makes it a lot more stable. And in this unsteady world we live in, you gotta take stability where you can find it. Ugh, right sewing, getting off track again. Then I put in a waistband that was exactly the size of my waist and sewed it closed with a zigzag stitch. And then it was time to make the top. And oh my goodness, padding is so expensive. Holy guacamole. Like this is the price I have to pay for modesty. So I hopped on over to Gabe's and I'm looking at the clearance swimsuits and this is only a dollar and it has pads in it. Another one, only a dollar. Heck yeah. Ah. 
As I cut out a strip of fabric twice the size of a wide piece of elastic, I decided that this would be the year I'd make at least eight dreams of mine come true. Starting with an aerial inspired swimsuit, and then I decided that actually I would count December as part of 2019 just because I already did the holiday Barbie thing, which was a dream, and eight dreams is a lot. So we're just, yeah. To make the top of the top, I measured <coughs> something and then made four teardrop shaped pieces, then sewed them together inside out so that I was left with two pieces. I only sewed them along the top and sides, leaving the bottom open. Then I turned those pieces inside out, abducted two pieces of padding from our clearance swimsuit, and shoved them in the triangles. I added elastic to the edges of those triangles, then cut out two long strips about the width of a Hot Wheels car. I then sewed those strips in tubular fashion, then turned them right side out with a safety pin. I know straps are sort of inaccurate because Ariel didn't have straps, but what can I say? I love tan lines. Next, I sewed those triangles to my waistband. Now, you could just leave it like this, but if you're like me and you detest sunblock but don't want a stomach that looks like this leather couch when you're older, you might want to cut out a strip of fabric about the size of an American Girl doll sleeping bag. Then pin and sew that to the other side of your waistband. For those of you who were burning with curiosity, here is how the swimsuit I made for my friend turned out. Let me tell you, it's a little stressful. The dilemma when you're making things for other people is just hoping blindly that it will fit. Another Goodwill find, I don't know if I will do much to this. It hits like in a very awkward spot since I'm tall. So I might take it up just a little bit to give it a little bit more of a um, capri full look. Other than hemming the pants, the only alteration I did to this jumpsuit was this little keyhole thing I did on a whim and kind of liked, so I sewed it in place. Next, I took these $4 Salvation Army mom jeans and put them on inside out. Then I marked them with a colored pencil, took them off, took my scissors out, and I won't insult your intelligence by explaining any further. You know, this dress isn't awful to begin with, but neither was the area of ground where the Eiffel Tower was built. Doesn't mean it couldn't be improved upon. So let's take this drabulous dress and turn it into a national landmark. Let's turn it into a masterpiece. I traced my desired neckline and then magically changed into my granny nightgown, then folded the dress in half and cut off the top. Then I cut off the sides of the dress to make it more fitted and so I would have scraps of fabric to feed Latrexa. Not feed, she likes soft fabrics for her nest. I meant to give to her, I'm not feet. I'm not. Then I thriftily cut off the old neckline of the dress and turned it into two straps. After fashioning the straps to the front of my dress, I was faced with a mild dilemma. So now I'm just trying it on to see if I want these straps to go straight down in the back or to Chris. Sometimes it would be nice to have someone around to help because this part took forever. When I finally got it, I got distracted by my own back in the camera and then I started flexing and I completely forgot that I was on a time crunch. But eventually I came to my senses and posted an Instagram poll. Should I make the straps go straight down or should I have them crisscross? <laughs> Then I partially sewed up the slit in the skirt while watching a series of unfortunate events on Netflix. Here's a tankini swimsuit that I found at Goodwill that I'm pretty sure is a little girl swimsuit. I think I'm just going to make it more like a straight across spaghetti strap thing. The process of altering this swimsuit was so painfully fast and easy that I don't even have time to explain it to you. And I wouldn't because, again, I don't want to insult your intelligence. I am leaving today for Florida from whence I will leave to the cruise. I still have to finish this dress. I want to make it kind of like bunchy. I want it to feel like a Fashion nova -y thing, you know, exactly like that. But I want it to stay put like that. Then I found this skirt at Salvation Army and I really liked it and I liked these things along the bottom But they just make it not go with as much stuff So I'm gonna cut it off and then I'm pretty sad about it, but I got to do it fast before I change my mind I was in such a rush I literally just ran the dress through the machine and bunched it up didn't even try it on after so what did we learn about Procrastination today kids? Well, this one actually kind of turned out perfect, but uh, don't just don't let me be your role model Something is missing We're good to go while I show you all the grand reveals, I'd like you to play a game with me where we count all the times I prove I should never be a model. Airport outfit, Adidas pants, freshly altered, sweatshirt that I cut off because it was really long. Okay, let's go. I also wore that outfit the first night of the cruise when the rest of my friends went to bed and I decided to roam the ship and see what sort of shenanigans I could get into. However, I don't drink or gamble and I'm not interested in flings, so my shenanigans are a little unorthodox. First, I hit up the library, which proved to be a tad disappointing. I hope you thought that was cool, because that was my fifth take. And it really hurt my head. Next, I scavenged other people's leftover room service. And is this my first rodeo? No, this is actually the shenaniest of all Makara shenanigans. <laughs> Okay. Looks like it could be alcoholic. Yes. Come on, people. Don't be stingy. Order room service. What is that? What is that? Okay, let's see what this haul has in store. I see something promising. Oh, it's a pickle. Heck yeah, I love pickles. Do I recommend going on a cruise? It has its perks. Is that good? 
Mm -hmm. show off the outfit. Yep. I also wore these shorts on the cruise at the dance party club thing, and look at those girls in the background watching me. Don't they look like they're having so much fun? I also wore these shorts when I went to Universal with my mom, and I wore it with this necklace I made and this wrap shirt that I made in my wrap shirt video. I'm in Lord of the Rings world or something. That is the worst group costume I have ever seen. There's a guy over here selling sonic screwdrivers. You need to give Cinderella's castle like a spit shine or something. It's looking pretty dingy. I'm just kidding. I know where I am. It's Pottersville, or not Pottersville. Pottersville is the place from It's a Wonderful Life. Now the one outfit I wore that I did not DIY why on this trip was when I was casted for Fear Factor Live and they put me in this spandex outfit that made me look like a super athletic superhero. I have to win because my mom's in the audience and I don't want to embarrass her. Well, so much for that. <laughs> to compensate for that embarrassing lack of physical fitness, I went on a run the next day. I'm just on a run and I'm like, hmm, look at that log. Wait, no, I think that's an alligator. The signs do say to respect the alligators, so I'm just gonna get a little closer to respect you, buddy. Fine. It's a baby. It's a wee little baby crocodile. Is it dead? Oh, no, not dead. Good thing I didn't touch it. Do you see it? It's about to swim away. I'm destined to be alone. I told my mom about the alligator rejection I had received and she basically took me to the Disney World of Gators. We're following this man with a snake around his neck. We followed this snake-clad gentleman to a distant corner of the premises. At such location, he entered a tiny gated area. In this gated area, he summoned the park's largest alligator. He then invited me back and I came and said the word oh a lot. Oh, 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 oh. I was a tad jealous to see this gator didn't run from him as the ones at the pond ran from me. Yeah, he's pretty. Are you about to kiss that alligator? Alrighty then, can I feed him? Absolutely. Is that not the most turdish thing you've ever seen? Yeah! Baby, you're so a little scared of me. This one looks like you when you were little. Make him wave, mom. No, make, no, I, no don't wave at him. <laughs> Alright, this was supposed to be about outfits. This outfit begs for bangs. I literally have a hairdresser 10 feet from me. Why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> now question, do you what think our little table guy or is our Victor Peter? Initiative finding <laughs> This dress was so versatile, you could wear a regular belt with it and then use the tie as a headband, you could wear it with shorts. It could probably even be styled vintage if I tried. I'd call this dress a success. It's aerial swimsuit time. Now watch as I do a perfect high school musical pose. Now watch closely as I attempt to do mermaid legs in midair. Okay, I know what pose you guys really want. Is this video giving you ADHD yet? <laughs> Look how fancy this restaurant is. Their bread is literally a potato. The number you have done. Sorry, the number you have done. After dinner that night, I was in the mood for a heaping helping of a good night's sleep, apart from the snoring of certain other individuals. And so far as I could see, sleeping on the balcony was the best way of achieving that goal. There was a fair bit of tossing, fair bit of turning, but waking up to this makes it all worth it. Prepare your goodbyes, everyone, because this is the last one.